In this tutorial, we are going to use Google Earth Pro in order to get the coordinates of a series of points or a polyline and extract them into Excel. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So after opening Google Earth Pro, I will zoom into my area of interest. In my case, I will be working on this runway of Geneva Airport. So we'll start with adding some points, but before doing that, we're going to create a new folder under temporary places. Right click on it, go to add and click on folder and we will name it points. Click on OK. So I will start to add a series of points along this runway. So click on this add placement button. <laughs> And I will start adding the first point, we'll name it one. Then click on OK. Then I will add another point. Uh, for example, I will name it two. I will add a third point. Click on OK. And then we'll add a final point. So now we added a series of points. Now we will go ahead and do the same thing for, for example, using a polyline. So I will close this folder and I will create another folder, name it polyline. I will click on OK. So under polyline, I will create a new polyline. Go ahead and click on this button, add path, and I will start drawing. A new path. Here we go. You can change the color. Sample make it red so it can be more visible. I will click on OK. So now that we created our points and our polyline, we'll go ahead and export those two elements. Go to points, go to the first folder points, right click on it and click on save places as. Go to your desired folder name it and then click on save i will do the same thing for the polyline folder right click on it click on save places as and then choose your desired folder name it and then click on save so those are the two files that we have just exported from google or pro as kmz files now we are going to use this website called gps visualizer in order to convert our kmz files into a text file just go to your local browser and type gps visualizer or simply click on the link under the description below so after opening gps visualizer website head over to this button convert a file click on it so we'll use this tab in order to convert our kmz file into text so the first thing to do is to select plain text as the output format so in order to upload our kmz files we will click on this button choose files and we will navigate to our work folder i will click on my first kmz files point i will do the same thing for the second file which is the polyline kmz file we will not yet click on the convert button we will set this add dm elevation data which correspond to the digital elevation model so you can choose a digital elevation model corresponding to your work area but the best choice is to click on best available source if you click now on convert you will get only the latitude and longitude coordinates of your points and your polyline there is another option to get directly utm coordinates click on show advanced options scroll down until you find this output utm coordinates and we will set it to yes so that's all now we will click on convert and then we will click on this download link and here we go you will get your text file so this is the file that we got from gps visualizer website we'll double click on it so as you can see we got our points and our polyline with their latitude and longitude as well as the utm easting and northing 
coordinates plus the altitude. So we will not input those informations manually in Excel. We will use Excel in order to import this text file. So open a new Excel spreadsheet and then head over to data and click on from text CSV. Navigate to where you saved your text file, click on it and then click on import. So here we go. Excel imported our text file, just click on load. So we got our points and polyline. So with their latitude, longitude, UTM, coordinates, as well as the altitude. So I will delete those columns. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you got some useful information from it. If so, please like it and subscribe if you want to get more of this kind of tutorials.